Uh, hello there, my name's Carlo, and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, today we're going to be creating some um, intro animation, um, which, you know, there's a lot of techniques you can use uh, by doing this um, for intros to your videos or logos and stuff like that. So, this is basically a quick little thing, um, what I'm going to be teaching you how to do. It's very, very simple. But um, it's using the Warner Brothers logo. So as it comes in, we've got the background moving. Nice little bit of optical flares. Obviously, I'd have a bit of soundtrack over this. And it just zooms in. Very smooth. Like so. <coughs> okay, excuse me. So if I cough a bit in this video, I do apologise. I do have a cold at the moment. Um, so it's not very pleasant so um, what I've done is um, I've downloaded um, I'll show you a couple of bits what I've downloaded first of all let me import it to my file <coughs> I've downloaded a Warner Brothers logo uh, which is somewhere down here uh, which is here and I'll just drop it in my comp and it's a um, black basically a black on white um, logo very very simple but um, the idea of this is to turn this into 3d um, so we can do some things with it okay so what we've done is we've just um, gonna go to file we're gonna create a new project um, and then we're gonna go composition new composition keep it about 30 uh, 30 frames long um, 1920 by 1080 is fine Right, so and then we're just going to import that picture you can find this picture on the internet uh, like this and we're not going to drop it into our comp because that will make it different size instead we're just going to drop it here and then all we're going to do is we're just going to scale it up um, to size like so then with the Warner Brothers selected we're going to go to layer and we're going to auto trace it this is a technique that I showed you guys in a previous uh, tutorial I did like so and then we're gonna go to new solid and we're just gonna name this element 3d like so make it comp size and click OK and then we're gonna right click go to effects video copilot elements and we're gonna wait for our elements to load and then all we're going to do is we're going to shut off our wallpaper like this. We're just going to switch it off because we're not going to need it. So we're going to come to custom layer, text and masks, which is just here. Open the first one and we're going to select our Warner Brothers logo. And then we're going to close this and go to scene setup. And then all we're going to do is click on extrude. So here we have our Warner Brothers logo created in 3D. Okay. So we're going to come to presets, and you can make it any colour you want. The way I got it, um, you know, in the video is because I basically added an optical flare to it. So um, we can actually just leave it like this for now, which is absolutely fine. Click OK, and then we will have it in our um, After Effects composition. So now we're going to go to Layer, New, and create a camera. We are going to keep it to 80 millimeter. Click OK. And then all we're going to do is animate this bit of um, video. So we're going to hit P on the keyboard for position. And then we're just going to basically go to the end of our timeline. Click on our camera. And then what we're going to do is press shift on the keyboard. And just basically zoom in like so. Then once that's done, we bring it back. And as you can see, we've got our basically going off the scene which is absolutely fine okay so we're going to select our 3d layer now we're going to right click go to effects video copilot optical flares and it will bring up this and then we're going to click on options and then we're going to go to our pro presets we're going to come down to natural flares and it should be somewhere in here I'm sure it's in natural flares I might have got it wrong let's have a look we're going to select this one here dirt, uh, dirty glass so we're going to no we're not going to get that one actually because it's green what am I doing 
this is what happens when you do things with a cold right so we'll, we'll select this one and we're just going to bring the ratio up like so and click OK like this and then as you can see we've got a nice little flare that we can pass through our scene but first of all we're going to bring our background in so we're going to go to file import you don't have to use the pictures I use you can use any picture um, it's just these are the pictures I've picked uh, for my project so I'm going to drag this and just drop it below my, my um, picture that shut off and then all I want to do is scale it up to size like so so now when it moves the Warner Brothers logo moves like that but what we need to do so this moves as well we need to make our picture a 3d layer and then when it's click on the little blue dot there and when it's Z just pull it back as far as you can go just keep pulling it back like so because we want this 3d we want a lot of depth here keep pulling it back and then once it's pulled back far enough we'll just scale it back up to size like so so now when it moves the background moves as well can you see so that's looking pretty good okay so let's just rescale that like so okay so now um, obviously we want to um, do a bit with our optical flares which is under our elements because that's where we placed it so we're going to open up op optical flares click position drag the video to about there and then all we're going to do is move our optical flare basically off the scene there all right so so as you can see we've got a really nice little effect let's go to full let's render it out very slowly as you can see we've created a nice little bit of 3d um, graphic work very simple very quick not even 10 minutes um, to add to your to your film the intro to your film or whatever you want to make but because this is obviously a 3d layer um, I can I can do 3D things with it, so I'm not stuck with just having this come out at me. Um, if that makes sense, I could actually if I just stop that here. If I bring it to here, what I can do is I can click on my camera, and then as it's coming, I could actually oh sorry, I've done that wrong. I'm stuck on my 3D layer. Let me do edit undo. Okay, I can because I select my 3D layer okay let's not let me do that I can sort of bring it down here and I can sort of play around with the um, aspect ratio of it so now let me just scale my picture to size watch what happens let me just scale this up Okay, now watch. Once that renders out, it looks like it's coming in from the left, or you can have it coming in sort sort of from the right, if that makes sense. Um, and your optical flare will always be within the um, the logo because obviously that's where you've positioned it to. That's where you've set it to. And it'll go right to the middle and it will do its thing but it's an easy very easy very simple way to make 3d um, or intros for your videos quite effective very nice to look at and yeah that's it really that's how you make 3d intros in After Effects using simple techniques. So thanks for listening and I'll see you again in the next video.